Hello and welcome to Sight and Sound Technology. My name is Ash and today I'd like to demonstrate to you OrCam, the world's most advanced wearable assistive technology solution. With OrCam, you can hear any text appearing on any surface, it will recognise the faces of people in your life, it will identify products and currency. OrCam is designed for people who are blind or visually impaired, and even for people with learning disabilities such as dyslexia. OrCam gives you complete independence. Today we're going to give you an introduction on how to get started with OrCam. I'll just show you the basics, including how to mount the camera onto the glasses, but I'll show you a few other neat hints and tips along the way. So let's open the box of OrCam and see what's inside. I'll show you all what's included. So we've got a pair of glasses. These are just generic glasses. You don't have to use these, but we include them anyway, just in case you don't usually wear glasses. You do, of course, need something to mount the camera onto. That's why we include them. Um, but yes, you can use your own glasses. I'll show you how to mount them in a second. Have a protective case so that you can clip it onto your belt. This is the base unit or the control panel. This has uh, four buttons on it, but I'll show you that in more detail in a moment. We've got the charging device, which obviously charges the unit. We have, this is the camera, the camera mount. We've got a pack of mounts so they, these come in various sizes so they can fit different frames and that sort of thing again I'll show you a bit more about them in just a moment uh, we've got a protective case a cleaning cloth and some headphones and that's it uh, we've just got a couple of allen keys as well to adjust the camera mount okay so now I'll show you how to attach the mount onto your glasses frame this bit is probably the most tricky part only because you might need a sighted person to help you with this. If you do buy all cam from Sight & Sound, we will attach it for you on site, though these instructions might be helpful in the future in case you need to change your glasses or if someone else is doing it for you, you could show them this video. I'll try to describe it as best I can though. So you find the right mount that suit your glasses and they're all in a few different sizes, but once you find the right one, you wanna place it onto the right side of your glasses frames. It does need to be on the right. Um, and you also need to try and adjust it so that the mount is placed as far up as possible on your frame. Um, if you don't go far enough, then your oil cam might not give you the best results. So try to push up as far as it, your glasses will allow you to. If you push them too far, you might find when you shut them, they won't shut properly. So just as far as it'll allow you to. Um, so it's shaped like a, like a wing or like a hook sort of thing. So you want to hook it over your glasses like like so um, once you've got the hook placed over your glasses you just simply tighten the allen key the, the the actual key is provided in the in a little bag and if you've got that nice and tight that's it the camera mount is in place so then you can place the camera onto that i'll try and bring it a little bit closer just if you are using sighted assistance they'll hopefully be able to see this a bit clearer as you can see the allen key is facing on the outside of the frame and the sort of hook shape goes over not not under the hook should go over the frame okay so once you've got that in place next thing is to place the actual camera piece onto the mount and that's pretty simple just all you need to remember is to place the, the actual earpiece on the inside of the frame and then it just literally pops into place once you line it up, you can just push it on. You'll hear it click in. So the earpiece is on the inside of your frame. The camera arm is attached nicely onto your glasses. And that's it. So next up, I'll show you the base unit or the controller unit. Uh, this houses several buttons, four exactly. So first up, we have the power button. This is placed on one of the sides near the top. And it's just a small square button. If you press it once, it will just wake up press it when it's on it will go into standby you can press and hold it to power it off completely um, but yeah that's that button and if you move down on the same side we've got the volume up and down buttons that's like a rocker switch if you press this one that will go down and then this next one will, will go volume up then if we flip it over on the other side on the opposite side it's like a small triangle on it um, so that's the main action trigger button it's for activating the camera, activating the product learning mode and changing the readback speed. So a short press of this button, the trigger button will activate the camera. It initiates the process of reading text or recognizing a face or product.
But if you press it in combination with those volume up and down buttons that I mentioned on the opposite side, that'll adjust the readback speed. If you hold it down, the trigger button, for two seconds, that'll activate the learning mode. And then finally, on the same side as the trigger button, if we just go up here, we'll feel a rubber panel. If you just pull that back, it will reveal a mini, like a micro USB slot and the DC jack for where the charger goes into to charge the device. We've also got a headphone jack on the top edge. So that's the base unit covered. It's nice and simple, easy to use. Let's show you how it works. So the Orcam comes in two variations. We have My Reader and My Eye. The My Eye is the one we'll be demonstrating today. Um, the My Reader is great for text reading, but it does not do the object recognition or facial recognition. The My Reader also has a one year warranty, whereas the My Eye has a two year warranty and it does all of the above. So it does the optical character recognition, facial recognition and object recognition. So that's the one that packs in the most features. So let's demonstrate how to do the text reading. I'll do it showing you with the base unit. So I'll press the trigger button on the side of the base unit and about comfortable arm's length away. Or cam. Reading next text block. An intuitive wearable device with a smart camera designed. I just press the trigger button to stop it. And you'll see how once you hear the camera flash and it starts reading, you can move the paper down. You don't have to hold it in that position the whole time. Um, but once you're ready to stop it, just press that trigger button on the side again. Um, and it's just a, a single press. So the really cool thing is I don't have to use the base unit. I can have that attached to my belt and I can just use motion. So with pointing my finger, again, comfortable arm's length away, and just point my finger. Or cam. An intuitive wearable device with a smart camera designed to assist people who are visually impaired. Easy to use. Now, or you can see I just did a stop gesture, and that's also a cool thing where you can just use that gesture to stop it in its tracks. You don't have to use that base button again. If you want to carry on reading, just point. Easy to use. All you have to do is point stop. the or cam my eye device. You see how easy that is to use. You also may have noticed how when I point to a certain line or paragraph, it continues reading from that bit. Another really cool feature of the OrCam is if I do the gesture as if I'm reading my wristwatch, it's gonna tell me the time of the day. The time is 4.48 p.m. Today is Wednesday, April 19th. And if you hold it for a shorter period, it's just gonna tell me the time. So that's a really neat feature they've put in there and really handy if you're on the move. Okay, so let's go into the product recognition mode. So all we do is hold the trigger button for two seconds. Start new product learning. Please point at the product three times at different positions. So do as it says and just point. And then again at another position. Once more. Done with this side. You may point three times at another side of the product or stop now. So if we just leave it for a few moments. Thank you. Please name the product after the beep. Chicken and sweet corn soup. Chicken and sweet corn soup. Press button to confirm adding the product, or press volume button to record again. Now press the trigger button again. Learning done. Product added. There we are. It's as easy as that to add a product in. And now you'll see how it will recognize that product if I picked it up again. Point at it. Chicken and sweet corn soup. There we have it. My own recorded personalized message for what it is. You can do that with any product. Okay, so the facial recognition is just the same as the product recognition. You use the same technique, only you don't use the pointing gesture. This time you use the trigger button on the side of the base unit. You hold it for two seconds, uh, if you want to recognize. That'll activate the learning mode. Please name the person in front of you after the beep. Amen. 
Amen. Press button to confirm adding person, or press volume button to record so you again. Press the trigger button again as it asks you to. Person learned. Amen. There we have it. So it's nice and easy. Next time if I see Amen, you see the your cam will recognize him. And there we have it. So it's really nice and easy to do the facial recognition as it uses the same theory as the product recognition, just using the trigger button on the side instead of the pointing technique. Okay, so I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions at all regarding Orcam, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We look forward to hearing from you soon.